In today's lesson, we're going to be using trigonometry again, but this time we're going to be finding an unknown side within a right angled triangle. The learning intention today is to use trigonometry to find unknown side lengths in right angled triangles. So to be able to do that, you need to be, be able to label the sides opposite, adjacent and hypotenuse. You then need to be able to select the right ratio, so sine, cosine or tangent. And then you need to be able to substitute the values and solve to find the unknown value. So for this first example, you can see that we've got an unknown side, a labeled side, and we've got, we've been given an angle. So what the goal is, we're trying to find what this value is. This side in this question isn't important to us. This really doesn't matter for this question. What it matters is this side with a number, this side with a pronumeral and this angle, which has been given a value as well. So the first step of our um, success criteria was to be able to label the sides O, A and H. So I always do the hypotenuse first, even if I know I don't need it, because it helps me um, make sure I'm doing the other ones correctly. So this is the hypotenuse because it's across from the right angle. I've got a side that's close and a side that's far. So this tells me this is A for adjacent and that this is O for opposite. Now I need to decide which trigonometric ratio I'm going to use. So I know that I need an A and I know that I need an O. So I'm going to write out so ka toa and decide which one it is that I need. As I said, I need an O and an A. This side's actually not important to us. So I need this one because it has an O and an A. So I'm going to use tan of an angle is opposite over adjacent. That's the uh, ratio that I'm going to be using. Now I need to substitute. That's the next step. Now, tan of an angle, I actually know what this angle is. This angle is 57. I know what O is, it's actually X. I know what A is, it's 14. So what I need to do now is I need to rearrange my formula and solve to find what X is. So in order to do that, I need to do the inverse of divided by 14 so I can bring it over this side. So what I'm going to do is times both sides by 14 and my new formula is going to be tan of 57 times 14 and that will give me what x is. So what I'm doing is rearranging the formula. So at the moment, this is x divided by 14. So to get rid of that, I have to times by 14 to move it over to the other side. Now this is the part where you need to have your calculator. So tan of 57, close bracket, times 14, that's going to give me 21.56 and that is going to be in meters because that's what my question is in. All right, so this is our second example. So we've been given a side with a value, a side with a pronumeral and an angle with a value. Okay, so the first step is to label our sides O, A and H. So I always start with the hypotenuse. So I make it an arrow. I know that this is going to be H. Then I look at my angle. I've got a side that's close and I've got a side that's far. So the side that's close becomes A and the side that's far becomes O for opposite. All right, I know that I need this side and I need this side. This side is not important to me. So I'm gonna write out so ka toa to decide which ratio I need to use. So I've got an A and I've got an H. So an A and an H tells me I need to have this middle one. C stands for cos of an angle is A over H. 
So I've chosen my ratio, now I need to substitute. So cos of an angle, I know what this angle is, it's 23, is going to change to A becomes 18, and A, H becomes Y. Now what we need to do is we need to try and get this Y on its own. So what's actually happening, I'm gonna do this over to the side, I'm actually starting with this, as you can see. Then to get this Y and put it on its own, I actually have to times it first to get this. But you can see my Y is still not on its own. So I need to get this and put it over here, okay? So to do that, I end up with y equals 18 over cos of 23. If that, for whatever reason, is confusing for you, like I understand it's probably not the easiest thing for some people under, to understand, what I always think is if the pronumerals on the bottom, we swap these around, okay? Because that's really what's happened. You can see that they've been swapped. So now I'm gonna have y equals 18 over cos of 23. Now when something's over, that means divided by. So on my calculator, I'm going to type 18 divided by cos of 23. Make sure you close that bracket because otherwise it can give you the wrong answer. And that's going to give us 19.55 meters. Now that does make sense because this is our hypotenuse. It needs to be longer than our um, short side. All right, this is the last one that we're going to do today. You can see here in our triangle, we've been given an angle, we've been given a side length with a value, and we've been given a side length with a pronumeral. So first step is to label the sides. So I always do the hypotenuse first, so I make this into an arrow, so I know that this is the hypotenuse. I've got a side that's close and a side that's far. The side that's close becomes adjacent. The side that's far becomes O for opposite. So I know that I need this side and I need this side. This side isn't important to me. So I'm going to write down so ka toa. I need to decide I need an O and an H. This one has an O and an H so that I'm going to choose sine of an angle is the opposite over the hypotenuse. All right, so now it comes the time where we need to substitute. Sine of an angle is 17 degrees. O is going to become Z and H is going to become 12. I need to get this on its own, so I need to get this 12 and I need to put it over there. So I do that by timesing. So I'm going to get sine of 17 times 12 equals z. I'm going to get my calculator, I'm going to bring it over here. Sine of 17, close that bracket, times 12. I'm going to get 3.5. Five, one centimeters. Okay. So thinking back to our learning, learning intention and our success criteria. The success criteria was to be able to label the sides according to the angle. So we did that O, A and H. Then you need to be able to determine which ratio you're going to use. You write down your ratio, you substitute the values for the, um, into the ratio, then you solve to find your answer. So if you can do all of those things, then you've met today's success criteria.